News. Hey, now we're going to go to Imagine It with Chief Scientist Carl Nelson from the Imagination Station. And I, I don't think he could hear us earlier, but what we were saying was that you're, you've been sort of prepping me for this one exactly. a little bit, just telling me a little in advance what's happening. So uh, we've got some, some milk in a saucer. Exactly. Okay. Cool thing you can do at home. Just grab some milk, put it in a plate, grab some food coloring. And then, Tony, if you can pick up your food coloring, okay. we're going to just add some drops of food coloring in a nice pattern right in the center of the plate. And you said like a four-leaf clover. Yeah. Does it matter how many drops? Is that uh, about right? Four, five, six, seven It really drops, does gel like more than if you were to drop it into water. Yeah, okay. and so I the, hold, uh, I'm gonna hold up this too. So the food coloring is a little less dense than the milk. Okay. So I guess if you want to hold that uh, mirror there, I'm sure. gonna take a Q-tip that has a little detergent on it. I'm gonna push it right down in the center. Okay. Whoa! Look okay. at that. So, isn't that crazy? That is crazy. These beautiful patterns of these food coloring being dragged around. Now the real question is, why does that work? Yeah. Okay. What is the detergent doing? So the detergent is doing a couple things. One is it's reducing the surface tension of the liquid, of the, the water there. Right. And so in fact, we can do this again. I've got a tray of water here. Okay. And I just put a little- Do we need this? Fine powder on top. <laughs> you might be able to see it. Okay. Um, fine powder on top. And if I reduce the surface tension by putting this Q-tip right in the center, uh -huh. you can see that that, that top layer of water sort of draws back. Okay? Right. So that's kind of what's happening over there. But you saw that kept churning again and again and again, whereas this just pretty much stops. Right. We're done here. So what you need to know is what a detergent looks like. And it kind of looks like a lollipop. No way. So it's got a head <laughs> on one end that likes water and a long tail that hates water. Now you're talking about the molecule itself. The molecule itself, okay. a long tail. And milk is just a mixture of sort of of water and some fat globules. So when you mix some of that detergent in there with those fat globules, it wants to find <laughs> that fat and you keep getting more and more of these things stuck, the detergent molecules stuck into the fat, and eventually all these detergent molecules bumping into the fat creates that churning motion hmm. that mixes up the milk. Right, and it makes a cool pattern too. It does, and it's, it's <laughs> something that's super easy you can do at home. So definitely sure. should try it out. And you basically, when you're washing dishes, that happens uh, regardless when this you maybe is let it soak. This is exactly why dishwashing liquid cleans things, is because these detergent molecules sort of separate the fat globules and you can rinse them away. Right. Now, are you going to clean all this up is the real question? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I got some <laughs> detergent here. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Where do you come up with these ideas? What, what are, you, are, you, are you just like, hey, you know what, let's get some milk and let's put some food coloring in it and let's show people how it works? Science is everywhere. I, mean, I, I can't reveal my sources, right? I mean, it's just, there's, there's so many things to talk about. All right. I mean, there's a lot going on down at the Imagination Station as well. Absolutely. And, uh, go ahead. And what's, uh, what's the big thing? Well, we opened up a new exhibition area called uh, Eat It Up. So definitely come down and check that out, all about nutrition and health. And of course, it's Saturday. So children from Lucas County, 12 and under, get in free today. There you go. And then when you're done there, you can try out some of the dishwashing detergent after you're done eating. <laughs> and clean up all the dishes Absolutely. as well. Clean up the dishes. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. All right, well, thanks very much, Carl. Sure. Appreciate it. Every time it's always amazing and always informative here. So uh, you can try this one at home, everybody. Absolutely. <laughs> you should. You should try it. You should. Thank you.